Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Anya and in this video I'm going to go over all of the items that I used up in December. I also have a couple of declutters from the end of the Projects Pan. If you haven't seen the Projects Pan finale, I will leave it up in one of the corners as well as in the description box below if you want to see how I did. And let's just jump into this. I am decluttering my Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Boost. I almost finished this, I used this for a week at the beginning of December in the hopes I would finish it, but I don't, I, I don't like it. So I'm just, I'm getting rid of it. It has no place in my life. I almost finished the Maybelline Mask Destroying Stick. This was full in January and I have barely anything left. I am so proud of myself for how well I did with this one and I'm happy to get rid of it. It's not a product that I love and I don't like cream brace products and I'm going to have to stop buying them because they don't have a place in my life. I finished up my Formula 106 Be Berry Bright Exfoliating Mud Mask. This was a very very lovely and gentle cleansing mud mask. It is great. I absolutely love it but I do prefer the one from Lush. It's the Mask of Magnuminty one. I think I'm going to rebuy that over this one every single time but it is an absolutely wonderful mask if you want to try something that is relatively affordable. I think this is on the cheaper end of things. Not sure how it compares to Lush prices in other countries, but Lush is more expensive here. But this was a wonderful one. I finished my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I've been working on this one for months. I do not like this. I have come to the realisation this year that I don't like illuminating primers because they just emphasise my texture. I have, it doesn't really look it, but I have a lot of texture around my cheekbones and around my nose and chin. This just emphasises that, and I'm happy that I was able to finish it, but I'm not going to rebuy any illuminating primers unless they work better, and I'm sorry if you can hear the dog, she's in the background playing. I was able to use it when I wasn't using foundation though, because on its own it's fine, it's not that obvious with the texture, but underneath foundation it's just so bad. And I have two more I think in the illuminating primer category that I'm going to finish this year, but I did not like that. I am getting rid of my e.l.f blush bronzer duo these are cream products i am really happy with how much i've been able to use this this year as i said i don't like cream face products so i was happy that i was able to use as much of it as i was and i'm not gonna take it with me any further in my life because i'm just not gonna reach for it this thing has been through the works this is the bh cosmetics shanex o eyeshadow and lipstick palette i have depotted all of the eyeshadows but two I ended up throwing away the cream colour and the blackish grey colour and I'm just gonna get rid of the lipsticks these were in the project I didn't use them the times that I did I think I played around with them like twice I don't like this format of lip product so it's going in the bin I'm also getting rid of my Lancome tinted ultra wear foundation I have the shade 005 wonderful foundation absolutely love it but it is not cruelty free and this is also getting very old I do not have all that much left. I estimate I have about that much, if even that much, left. So I'm really happy with this and the amount of views I've gotten out of it this year. And I am just, it's time for it to go. It's getting a bit old. I'm also getting rid of my Walking on Eggshells trio from Wet n Wild. I completely finished the top pan and I have a major pan in the two other shades. But I've been working on this for over a year and if I'm going to continue to pan all the shades completely, I'm not going to touch the rest of my eyeshadows and I'm already getting sick of this so it's time for it to go and I'm really pleased with how much I was able to use it. I'm getting rid of my Wet n Wild black eye pencil, it's just a bit too dry for my liking and I'm not a big fan of black eye pencils. I don't use them that much, I have smallish eyes and they just look even smaller when I line my waterline with this and this is too dry to use on the lid which is how I would use it. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I also have all of my remaining Kat Von D lip liners. I have Poe, Scully, Cinna, Outlaw, Lemmy, Satellite, Blood Milk and Saxa. I don't like them. I finished some of these. Some of them have been decluttered. Some of them were too dry to use. I just, they're gone. I'm not happy that they're gone. I ended up decluttering my NYX Suede lip liner in Amethyst because it has this weird white stuff around the edge. I tried sharpening it. It doesn't go away. I'm gonna get rid of it. It is a very dry pencil, so it's not one I would really recommend, but it is very, very purple. If you can handle that dry texture, this stays on through pretty much anything. 
it is just not very smooth in application. I'm decluttering both of my Tanya Burr cream eyeshadow sticks. These are just too dry to use. I was contemplating keeping the brown shade, which is Melt My Heart, because I can get it to work underneath eyeshadow, but I just don't like them. They are too dry. They make it look like I have a lot of texture on my eyelids. My eyelids aren't smooth, but they're not that textured. <laughs> this just makes that whole problem 10 times worse. So I'm just, I'm gonna get rid of them. I am getting rid of my Made You Look Night Owl eyeliner. This is getting very old. I do absolutely love it though, and I have, I think, three more of these, which I purchased when she stopped selling them, which is, it's starting to be a couple of years ago. But I'm going to get through those eventually, and this is a great eyeliner, but it is getting old. I did a face mask. I think it might have been when I got home after Christmas. It's from Camilla Peel Feel, uh, the sheet face mask with the unicorn on it, on it. I did not like this, and it might have been that my skin was going through something. Um, I went away for Christmas for a couple of days, and I came back so sick. I'm still not feeling great, which is why my voice probably sounds a little bit iffy. But I also ended up having, I don't know what it was, but right here on my cheek, I had a patch of something. It was red, it was warm, it was itchy. I'm assuming some sort of maybe eczema or something, because I do get that on my hands sometimes. But this did not make it better. It stung, so I had to take this off prematurely. The rest of my face loved it, and the serum in this is great. It's just, when I used this, my skin wasn't doing its best, and it had a minor freak out. But it didn't make it worse, that's the good thing in this. Um, and I don't mind the other face mask that I have from Camilla. I have a reindeer one, which I do enjoy. But I'm not sure I will repurchase these, because I have found sheet masks that are less expensive that most of them on me tend to do the exact same thing, which is just, they moisturise, and I like that. I finished my deodorant, Sterilin Aloe Vera, the best deodorant if you are sweaty. Phenomenal. I don't really like this scent all that much, though. I prefer the one in the turquoise cap. They were sold out when I had to buy one, so I ended up with this one. It wasn't bad, but it's not my favourite scent, but the formulation is amazing. I finished my Steely Glitter and Glow in Bronzed Bell. This is really dried out. There is still a tiny bit of product clung to the edges at the bottom here, but I used this a lot in December. I absolutely love this colour. When I went to check on the price, because I keep track on all the stuff I've used up and the monetary value of everything, this was still available, and I thought this was a limited edition colour, but apparently not. Maybe they've brought it back, I don't know. I might actually repurchase this at some point in the future if I use up the ones I currently have, because it's amazing. I finished my 4th Ray Beauty Rose Hip Oil. This was a wonderful oil, but it's too small and too expensive for me to buy. It was lovely. It was, it was nice. It didn't do anything spectacular for my skin, but it helped with hydration and keeping it soft, so... Two thumbs up, but I'm not going to buy it again. I finished what is, I assume, to be the last pair of simple wipes. These were wonderful. I tend to use makeup wipes, even though they're not the best. Um, I'm disabled, so I struggle washing my face at the sink. I do want to get better at it. I do want to find a cleansing oil that I can use. If you know of a good cruelty-free one, let me know. Preferably one that can be bought in a way, but it doesn't have to be. But I use cleansing wipes because they are the fastest, easiest way to get makeup off my face. And... I have found a new one that is cruelty free that I really enjoy, I just hope I'll be able to buy it in store because I got it in the number 7 advent calendar and I don't know if I can actually buy them, I hope I can because if so I have found my new favourite one but the simple ones are one of the better ones. I decluttered my e.l.f. Uh, lip exfoliator, this again has barely any product left but I don't really like lip exfoliators, <laughs> I tried to use it but I'm gonna get rid of it. I got one for Christmas that I am very excited to try because it is a lip exfoliator and a balm treatment in one. So I'm excited for that, but I don't really love the Lush one because it's just, it leaves my lips a bit too dry afterwards. I ended up getting rid of my Maybelline Baby Lips in Pumpkin Spice. The color of this is not very nice on me and the formulation isn't one I love. I have used up the majority of this one this year though, so I'm really happy with that. But I'm not gonna continue planning it because I don't like it enough. For that. I'm getting rid of my Mini Clinique High Impact Mascara. This is perfectly fine to use, but it does not hold a curl on me, which I need mascaras to do. But this is getting dry and difficult to get product out of the tube, so I'm going to call that done. I am decluttering my It Cosmetics Brow Power in Universal Taupe. I hate this with a passion. This is so hard to use. I have still got 
a lot left. It doesn't look like a lot, but this is at least four months of eyebrows. It just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It goes on and it, I can never get two brows to look the same. It's just, it's too soft and the colour is wrong. I just, I don't like it, so it's going. I'm also getting rid of a L'Oreal eyeshadow. This is in Macron Vanille. The colour of this is just too off for me to be able to use it. It's too dark for me to set my eyes with it. It's too dark for me to use it on the lid. It's too dark to be a highlighter. So I just never reach for it. So I'm going to let it go. This Kat Von D liquid lipstick is in bow and arrow and it has gone off. So I'm tossing it. It's starting to smell off and weird. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And finally here I have my Rimmel Magnifies Eye Primer. This is wonderful. It is one of my favourite ones. And it's great both for the eyelid but also for underneath the eyes as a under eye primer for concealer. But this is going off as well. It's starting to turn smell a little bit weird. So I'm not going to risk it near my eyes because I have sensitive eyes. So I'm just going to let that one go. And that was my December empties. If everything is in here, and I hope it is, I have used up 31 items in December and I'm pretty happy with that. But looking at my year total, I used up 242 items in the realm of beauty. 97 of those were makeup, 98 were skincare, body care had 19 items, 3 items were hair products, I used up 1 nail item, 11 tools, aka I threw out a lot of sponges, 13 perfume items. And I, in that total, 22 items were decluttered, 40 of those items in the total were also samples. But I'm pretty happy. I used up a lot of items. I'm going to up that number this year. I'm hoping for at least 100 makeup items and a loose goal of 366 items in total, which is one for every single day. That's going to be a little bit tricky, but I think it's, it's going to happen. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!